Hi there, I'm Rachel Gregg and today I'd like to share with you our four new background stamps for 2021. We've got the Hand Woven background stamp, the Daisy Delight background stamp, the Jigsaw background stamp and the Crossword background stamp. And these background stamps are a little bit larger than six by four inches. So that means they will cover an entire card front for a six by four card. So you can cover this entirely over a six by four card front. And with our four different designs, I just wanna run through some ideas with you and show you some creative samples to show you how they can be used. So this first one here, the hand woven background stamp, it's a really nice natural um, background with lots of those little hand woven natural fibers on there. And here's a little card here where you can see it being used. Now this is stamped in sepia ink and it just gives that really nice sort of warm ink over the top of an inked background. And so you can see here how it just gives you that really nice textured look without being too overbearing or too dominant there on the card, but it just gives you that nice little look here. And here's another card here. This one was created by Sarah Feeney and she's used a really nice little soft gray ink and so you can see how there how it works really well as giving texture into the background without being too um, busy for what's on the front on the focal point of the card so it's just a really nice background stamp to include in your stash and you'll notice here all of our um, header cards are printed in black so you see it as the most darkest that it can go um, and then it just depends on what ink color you use to create these different effects to make it a softer look onto your cards. So that's just a little look at the hand woven background stamp. Now next up we have the Daisy Delight background stamp and this uh, stamp here was designed by my daughter Zoe and she's drawn these daisies and turned it into this beautiful looking background stamp and I love what the effects that we can create with this. I'll just show you some samples here. So here's a little card here that I've created and it is stamped in archival ink and then I've just used distress inks with a water brush just to colour in that stamp design. And I mean, you could use all types of different colours of inks just depending on what your favourite colours are to create some different um, looks there for your background. And if I can just move that camera or the card around, you might be able to see the little stickles here that I've just done on the centers here of these little flowers. And that just adds a little bit of bling to your cards. And if you wanna create a more subtle um, effect here for your backgrounds, this one here, I've just inked it up using some Distress Oxide inks, just some, some of the warmer colors, and then just stamped it onto the background here, and then just used a water brush just to blend out some of that ink color, just to make it a soft little background there. And then I've just splattered it with some of the metallic Distress sprays. So you can see here how you can have, you know, a really bold pattern here, or then a nice little soft pattern there as well for your background. So there's just two ideas. Here's some more ideas here. These are some tags here that were created by Danny Schote, and she's created a real painterly look for these tags here and stamped the background stamp, not by using the whole stamp, but just, you know, inking up certain parts of it and pressing it down with some paint and then coloring in all of these other parts here with some different color paints. And so that gives it that real painterly look. It doesn't keep all of that detail you can see here in those daisies. It just gives it like as if they're all hand painted. And that's just a really nice way to use that background there as well. And then, we have a tag here. This one's also created by Danny, and she's used the new Spread Your Wings Butterfly stamp set, but she's used the little Daisy Delight um, background stamp just in little parts here on the tag. And she's just stamped it onto tissue and then torn up the tissue like she's created her own collage papers and then torn up the tissue and then adhered it onto the tag here before then adding on the butterflies on top. So you can see here how you can just use little parts of the background stamp rather than using it as a whole piece. So that's another little fun way to use all of our background stamps. You could use that like that with the hand woven, just stamp it onto some tissue and tear some of the pieces and then use that in your journals and likewise as well, the crossword pieces as well and some jigsaw. So that's a really nice technique to use. 
Okay, so next up we have our jigsaw background stamp and this works really well with our puzzle pieces stamp set. I'll just grab that out here. So we've got a new puzzle pieces stamp set. So you can use those together to create some really fun cards. And I'll just show you a card here that Dawn Lewis has created and she's used that jigsaw background stamp for the background and just stamped it in a nearly, really nice soft grey and then used the um, stamps from the puzzle pieces stamp set to create the focal points for that card. Another way to use this background stamp, this is a tag by Danny Schoet and she's stamped the jigsaw background onto the tag and then coloured it in with different colours of coloured pencils just to highlight those different puzzle pieces and then again added a couple of different puzzle pieces from that puzzle pieces stamp set. So that's a fun little tag that you can, you know, include in your journals. And then we have our crossword background stamp. And this is a complete crossword. And here's a card using it. And I've just stamped it in black, uh, just like a true crossword. And then again, I've used a sentiment out of that puzzle pieces st um, stamp set, because some of those sentiments will work really well with the crossword background. And a fun little fact about our crossword uh, background stamp is, it's a real crossword. We have turned it into a real crossword with real clues and a real solution. So it's an interactive stamp. So that means there that you could stamp this out onto a card, like make a card or stamp it out to include inside a card for someone else. Um, and then they can complete this puzzle. So with the little clues here, it's, it's on the back of your header card here when you purchase the crossword background, but we also have these clues and the solution downloadable on the Darkroom Door website. And underneath the crossword here inside the header card, um, it will have the web address there where you can go and download those clues and the solution. So therefore you can print out a set of clues to include with your cards. And then um, it'll also have the web address for them if they need the solution as well. So, and a lot of the little clues here are quite arty. Um, if you can read some of these, you know, cut out shape for applying paint. There's all sorts of, um, it's, it's quite an arty little crossword as well, because we wanted to make it fairly creative for all of our creative friends. So uh, just a little recap. So we've got the crossword, we've got the jigsaw background, we've got the Daisy Delight background and the hand woven background. So I hope you enjoy using all of these stamps. They're available now on the Darkroom Door website or ask for them at your favourite craft retailer. Thanks so much for watching.